Hi, uh, this is uh, the third tutorial and I will show you here uh, how you uh, change the settings of double exposure. Now we were left uh, with a fill placeholder, we close it. And now you also don't need the uh, two composition windows, so we can close one and open the lock. And now we, we are in the scene base composition. Uh, always, whatever scene you are working on, uh, you make the double exposure settings here, scene, so the base, uh, base composition. So here are two control layers. First is for foreground and the second one is for fill. First we uh, need to make something to the fill because uh, it covers all our foreground. So it's good for placement. You can see uh, what parts show where, but now we need to uh, take it back a bit. And uh, fill controls layer is selected. Uh, now if your effect controls panel isn't open or showing, then go to uh, main menu, window, and here is a effect controls option. So click on it so it's open. And uh, here you can see all the controls for fill. So main controls, we start with the fill opacity, it's 100, okay. And uh, now we want this um, image to start coming from that side. So we drag this uh, angle controller, or then you can use the slider, of course. And fill transition zero means that the whole uh, image is showing and uh, if you will raise this you can see it wipes uh, wipes back so uh, we want to reach something like um, let's say a bit more but then adjust the angle so it it's better with the and the feather the feather uh, can be, you know, from zero, which of course doesn't look very nice. So up to whatever number you want to use, very soft line. And we'll use a bit uh, smaller. Then field transition should be and angle something like this. Okay, so now we can see our fill image is uh, feathered out and, and covers this uh, uh, upper part of the foreground, but uh, we want to show our foreground from below, not uh, this way as it looks now. To do that we go to foreground controls, first layer, select it, now you can see all the controls in effect controls panel and again here opacity angle control which we can change at once like that so you it updates nicely if you change it and uh, we need to show more of this image so we'll take the number down mm -hmm. actually it can be uh, all over uh, because it's behind the fill right now and here is also a feather option, as you can see. Make it a bit smaller, but it doesn't matter if you if you show the whole image. Okay, so this is more close to what we are trying to make. And you can see here some other controls also horizontal displays, vertical displays and foreground displacement. Uh, this is for making the 3D uh, faces, uh, 3D parallax look, 3D effect for the faces. But I will talk about this uh, more exactly in the uh, further tutorials.